Ethiopia, there is a man who is friends with hyenas. Not the cute dogs or cats, but the wild, dangerous hyenas. Who is this guy? Why is he not afraid to be eaten? And how many times was he attacked by a hyena? Two years ago, I heard about a guy who eats and lives with hyenas. I was so shocked that I had to go and see him by myself. So I flew all the way to his country, Ethiopia, one of the biggest African countries. There, I took another flight to a remote village called Harar. And here, I started to look for the hyena man. I searched everywhere and asked everyone. People told me to go left, right, straight, and left again, until I finally found Abbas. Hi, my name is Abbas. I am hyena man. This is the guy I came to see. He is a second generation hyena man. Hyena man. See, many years ago, Abbas's village had a hyena problem. These animals attacked humans and killed their animals. And as a form of defense, the villagers attacked the hyenas back. This went on for so many years, until one day, Abbas's dad came up with a plan. Instead of killing the hyenas, he wanted to feed them and become friendly with them. He fed them night after night after night after night, until one day, he and his son Abbas became friends with the hyenas. There are my friends. So now, decades later, every morning, Abbas still goes to the food market to buy his friends meat. I buy them food. Then he goes home and waits until the sun sets because that hyena. is when hyenas go out to eat. Oh my god, hyenas. Hello, hyenas. hyenas. Look, look, you can see the eyes far away. In the darkness of the night, Abbas sits and waits for his friends to show up. Slowly but surely, they come out and eat with Abbas. <laughs> the hyenas trust him so much they even let him play with their cubs, and he has names for each one of them. Sabona, Sabuntu, Ayantu, Ayansa. Soon enough, things began to change. The hyenas stopped attacking the village and killing their animals. Now, some of them even help the village by feeding on their trash. This special relationship became so popular that tourists from all over the world come to see him and his hyenas. It is a sight you will not see anywhere else. Wow, he's gonna scratch my back. <laughs> No. I mean, you never know, but they are just eating. They just want a snack, not a me. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was too scared to touch the hyenas, but I was inspired. If more people treated animals with love and respect, like Abbas does, then we can build a much better world for humans and animals alike. Yes, yes, Ila. Hey.